Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to load multiple JSON files to SQL Server table by using SSIS. So uh, we have this uh, function called the Open JSON, and that's really helpful in a T-SQL that we can use uh, to parse our JSON file and then uh, get the data into columns and rows. So here is a script that I'm going to use in SSIS uh, table, sorry, package. And uh, what we are going to do right here, if you see that it's only using one file. So I have a couple of JSON files sitting there in my input folder. I'm going to show you one of them and uh, what we are going to do uh, right here you can see that uh, it has the ID, first name, last name, email, gender and IP address. Uh, so this is a sample uh, JSON file I created uh, online. Uh, so let's close this uh, guy because we don't need uh, this anymore and uh, what we have here in SSMS uh, uh, that's the function, uh, uh, table value function we are going to use it to parse it. So this is a script uh, where we declare a variable call JSON and uh, then uh, it is a uh, worker max so that's uh, the data type we are using for this guy and then uh, in this uh, at the rate JSON uh, we are using uh, this bulk column from open row set and importing it so the whole file is going to be imported in this uh, variable once uh, the variable has that entire JSON what we are going to do we are going to use open JSON function pass that parameter or uh, into the uh, this open value open json or table value uh, function and the dash uh, function is going to parse our file into the columns and rows so if you guys remember that we have id first name last name and the email gender and the ip address in our json file so i use the same columns here so um, that's uh, go ahead and execute and uh, what you're going to see you're going to see that it has read uh, thousand rows because that's all I have in that file. Now, well, once uh, this is ready, but uh, this is not really a perfect solution because uh, I might get multiple files on daily basis and I would like to uh, uh, load those files to some uh, table. And also I would like to save the file name in that uh, table. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and create a table. So here, uh, what we can do, uh, there are, uh, first of all, uh, I'm going to show you how to, uh, let's say, yeah, let's go ahead and create a table first. Okay, so I am I'm going to go say create table and uh, let's call this one SSIS JSON. Okay, and then uh, use the same uh, data type. So what I have selected there, control V, and uh, this is all set, put the parentheses around and then close the parentheses. So I'm creating this uh, uh, table in the tech browser IT. Okay. Uh, one more thing I would like to add, I'm going to go ahead and say file name. So that means I would like to save the file name of wherever that file is coming from, the entire path, I will save that. So create here. Okay, the, the table has been created and uh, now I can go ahead and uh, execute this. So how I'm going to execute this? Uh, right here. So if you guys remember that, uh, we can run this and it's going to read the file and then uh, there is no file name here, but I can uh, do something like this. So, so I can say insert into this table. Now, uh, I don't have a file name here, so select asterisk, maybe I can just, uh, for now, uh, I can say my test file as file name, okay, from. So now you see that if I run this uh, entire thing, what's gonna happen, it's gonna read these, uh, uh, JSON file, once it's read, then it's going to parse it, you know, to these columns and rows. And then it's going to add, uh, uh, these are the column that will be inserted uh, to the, this table. And the, this table is I'm um, hard coding right now. Okay, so we can use actually same name if we want. But in SSIS, we are going to automate this process. So let's uh, execute and you see that the thousand rows has been inserted. It looks good. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to use the same script in execute SQL task in SSIS. So let me make a copy of this guy, go to new, paste it there. And now we go to the SQL server. Sorry, everything starts with SQL server now. Uh, actually, this is called the Visual Studio, right? So we are in Visual Studio, go to the packages, new package. Now in the new package, what I need, I need for each. So uh, for each, I'm going to get the for each container here. And uh, let's, uh, let me make it big, maybe this will help. Okay, now we are gonna double click this guy and we are gonna point this guy to the uh, file. So right here, see, right there for each file enumerator. So that's where I'm gonna click and then I have to tell from, read from which folder. So I'm gonna bro click browse and uh, I'm gonna navigate to the 
desktop and input folder that's where my JSON files are so what type of files you would like to read I'm gonna read everything asterisk dot JSON because that's the extension I would like to read now fully qualified I would like to read uh, would like to read the entire path so it will be folder path backslash my file name so I can use that in my query now go to the variable map in here I'm gonna create a new variable let's call this variable uh, you can uh, on the package level that's good doesn't matter variable name I'm gonna call it a file path okay so now um, you can provide any path if you like maybe say my file path you know doesn't really matter because this will be overwritten uh, you know once a file for each loop is going to run it's going to read the one file at a time you know those names will be overwritten so good so we have this variable string type and this is all good now hit ok and inside the for each loop uh, what I need I'm going to use a execute SQL task execute SQL task because I need to load the data to the SQL server not a big deal so I can use execute SQL task here let's uh, double click on this guy and now we are gonna go create a connection it's gonna be already be connection that's fine new connection and uh, we can go ahead and create a new connection create a new and uh, here you will provide your server name and uh, I can click on the drop down it's gonna take 30 40 seconds and get me the server name finally we have the server name and here I need to write this data to some table and if you guys remember that we have tech browsers IT database and uh, we have a table created there so let's test the connection all good and hit ok now we are gonna say ok and here you can write any command I love SSIS okay and uh, if you want to write more about that SSIS videos by tech brothers okay if you really like tech brothers IT go ahead and subscribe my channel and uh, it will kind of we reach to the goal of 100,000 subscriber one day <laughs> that, that uh, the number of uh, views I have uh, I don't have those many subscribers just to uh, let you guys know because I see 20 million uh, views and the uh, people have like a half a million subscribers so I have 60,000 so let's uh, let's hit the subscribe button there that will help so now we are what we are gonna do because this support what we have written uh, I love tech browsers that's not gonna be really useful because it will be overwritten by our expressions so what we are gonna do here we are gonna go to the expressions here go to expressions and here uh, click on the property and uh, we are gonna select SQL statement let's go right there SQL statement source and I'm gonna hit on expressions and then uh, a window will pop up like this uh, this is a small window so what I'm gonna do here I am going to write that expression so let's go to the SSMS uh, copy this uh, whole item here and we are gonna come back to the our uh, Visual Studio and uh, that's where we are gonna put uh, double quotes first then we are gonna control V and uh, double quotes at the end now we have to let's make it a little bigger so we can see see right there uh, where it say bulk and uh, see so you're gonna delete this guy so you're gonna delete this whole thing because this is coming from the variable so you're gonna put double quotes first uh, then you're gonna put plus sign then another plus sign then another dou double quotes now same thing uh, what we are gonna do here we have to do in the this uh, file name as well so here right here so what uh, we are gonna do here we're gonna put uh, double quotes plus plus double quotes and uh, that's it now remember that we have created file path variable that's what we are going to use right here so our file will be read from this path because that's coming from the our for each loop every time it's going to have a, a new value and that's how it is going to be and if you remember that in file path I have just uh, written some default value that will be overwritten but if I will evaluate expression it will help so see my file path so I, I can see that at least is put in single quotes and all that around it so I'm gonna copy this uh, and show you what exactly and how exactly this looks I will uh, try to put it in the description because uh, sometimes I forget and uh, then uh, you guys hate me for that but uh, give me one second uh, so I'm gonna go right here and uh, control V and you can see how exactly the expression look like uh, so I have put double quotes around here and uh, double quotes around here and then I have plus sign 
and then I had plus sign so in the the variable is going to come between uh, two plus signs uh, right there and that I put the double quotes before plus sign so that's a simple you know this is how you're uh, you are replacing that value and here uh, we need uh, the file name and the file name is going to come from here and uh, then uh, uh, you know you have uh, this uh, single word surround if you guys ask me hey you are saving uh, the entire fi file path and file name together yes I am doing it so I can use substring and all those kind of things and remove uh, uh, my the um, the folder path from the file name so it's my choice you know uh, but in my case it's not a big deal uh, you guys know how to write expressions I have shown you in many videos so if you want to just read the file name and uh, that's easy by using substring char indexes and all those kind of functions available in the SSIS expressions so I don't care about that looks good I'm gonna keep these guys and then I will put in the description so you can copy and paste let's go back and hit ok now hit ok and hit OK. Uh, our SSIS package is ready. Now let me go back uh, and uh, read uh, the data. So if you remember that, that this is the table where we are uh, writing the data. So let me show you if there is any data in this uh, table. If it is, I'm gonna truncate it. Okay, so there are thousand rows already there and uh, I am going to do truncate table first uh, so you know that uh, truncate table right there truncated no records anymore in this table and now we go and uh, execute our package so right click here or start button or whatever you want to do you can go and start and this is going to run your package okay that was fast loading uh, almost uh, two files each file has a thousand records and now we go back to the SSMS and verify so I'm going to run this pack, uh, statement and sorry that was not smart okay so you can see that we our see right there our data is ready and here you can see that uh, this is coming from mock data dot json file these uh, rows and if you want to go further down and this is coming from my json file so you have the two files loaded to this set table so this is how you will uh, write your uh, SSIS package to load multiple files to JSON uh, from uh, from the JSON file to the table with file name as well. So thank you very much for watching and I'm going to go ahead and create another video for you where we will uh, do kind of same technique and load the data by using data flow task. Why? Because if I'm reading the data from uh, a JSON file and then I have to write the data to the maybe Oracle or maybe I have to create uh, the CSV file then uh, I cannot use execute SQL task I need to use OLATB source uh, and uh, then uh, read uh, the JSON file and then uh, finally I have to write to some other destination uh, so I have to create a data flow task here instead of using the uh, execute SQL task so let's uh, watch that video if you guys like my uh, way of uh, teaching and thank you very much for uh, watching go ahead and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video